Hello guys, this is Puppet Trend here, and today I'll be doing a video on uh, how I met Jeff. So, even after my AMA stream, or technically should have been called Q&A, AMA is generally for Reddit and stuff like that. Um, I, I answered the age-old question to a lot of people, which is, how did I meet Jeff? Uh, even after, uh, even an after answering that question, uh, people have still sort of asked, um, how did I meet Jeff? And so... I felt like the right thing to do at this point would be to redirect, I should, I guess, redirect people to this video now. So as opposed to like trying to go type in like a crazy monologue, I'll be like, hey, if you really want to know how I met Jeff or whatnot, just like, you know, like go and go to the, like uh, my Puppet Tran mod channel because that's where like that'll be just might as well just upload it here or there, whichever or and uh, whatnot. So. So pretty much the, a lot of people have been asking, how did I meet Jeff? So, how did I meet Jeff? See, that's the good question. How did I meet Jeff? How did we meet? What, did we meet at the local bar? Did we, like, how did we meet? So, me and Jeff first encountered each other, I would say, it wasn't like an actual encounter. I would say like our first sort of confrontation or, yeah, confrontation with each other would be, it was a Ready Up Live game night that they did for Halo 5 which is for Warzone you know I just sent them a like I sent one of the community managers or one of the community members a message saying yeah you know I'd like to join there when there's room right and so so what ended up happening was you know I got invited in and Jeff and I believe War Dog actually were in the game like they were in the lobby I know Jeff was guaranteed I don't remember if War Dog was there unless it was just primarily like all other like RUL people primarily and the couple of fans that they invited in so you know me and Jeff were playing you know yeah yeah you know we didn't talk directly to each other as in like it was like hey Jeff blah 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 no it was just like when when someone started talking they would start talking and then it would just be like a chime in sort of thing and 99% of the time we were talking it was just more jokes like you know huh oh, I said said joke oh everyone responds and like you know they laugh to it or whatnot or you know like Jeff, like, like it, you get the point, pretty much. It was just more of like a chime in to when someone said something or someone chimes into what you said and, you know, stuff like that. After that, I just sort of, I was like, yeah, you know, I'll watch, I'll watch the uh, Ready Up live streams. And eventually Jeff tweeted out that, uh, or D Dan, I think, tweeted out that he, he had, uh, that there was going to be a, or Jeff was uh, streaming. Like, well, he retweeted that Jeff was streaming uh, on Twitch. Like, the R Rainbow Six Siege beta. And so that's what I did. I sort of ended up uh, tuning into that. And I believe that was our act. Now, this is where our first legitimate, like, me and Jeff talking to each other. Like, just, like, front on front. And it, I think the conversation sort of started with, like, w like, it was during the time of Fallout 4 as well, like, like, should I get it on console or should I get it on PC? I said get it on PC because uh, the biggest reason is mods. I'm not going to say because of graphics, 60 FPS or anything like that. I said because of the mods, like, you know. Like, consoles are getting mods as well, yes. But, like, I mentioned to him, like, you know, I'd rather have it on PC for mods because, you know, less restrictions and whatnot. You never know what can happen. Okay, there's an enemy back here. I know a bit. Probably the easiest way to do this. Right, there we go. Oh, he's right behind this wall. Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. Anyway, so me and Jeff, like, you know, we're talking to each other. I tell him, like, yeah, you know, get it on PC, you know, less restrictions, no certification periods, you know, none of that. And why not, like, so I was just giving him those sort of reasons. Nothing, nothing too special. And then eventually, the topic sort of moved on. Uh, it got to a point where no one in chat was talking on the Twitch stream. Like, it was only, like, 15 to 10 people watching. So pretty much the only people that were talking were me and Jeff. Uh, it got to a point where Jeff switched to League of Legends, I, I think. I don't remember if like the that one day I watched them was like a full a full Rainbow Six Siege stream. I don't remember. See, that's how long ago it was. But like, all I know is that like the first time I sort of tuned in just for him was like when he was doing the Rainbow Six Siege demo or not demo beta, my bad. And. Um, Oh, yes, 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 that's right. He did a... Yeah, so he... He ended up switching to League of Legends, I believe. 
And then, you know, while he, while he was playing League of Legends, I was talking to him, saying stuff like, you know, like, yeah, I was an original Dota player, you know, we were talking about Dotas. And, you know, I said, like, I played the OG, like, or OG Dota. Um, or, yeah, talking about MOBAs, and then we were talking about Dota as well. Like, I brought up, like, yeah, I was an OG Dota player, you know, like, you know, back when it was called Defense the Ancients, and stuff like that. And I told him, like, you know, oh, yeah, it was so cool, like, you know, because I play on custom servers as well as playing competitively. Like, you know, I played on, like, you know, these custom servers where you would have comic book characters and whatnot. So we had this nice interaction, I guess because of the lack of, uh, like, because of the lack of other people talking. Okay, that was worded badly. Uh, because of the lack of other, like, the activity from other people. Because of the lack of that, I guess me and Jeff's activity was, like, that's what got us, like, that, that's what brought us closer, I guess. You want to say it like that? But, um, so then, like, you know, we start talking, and eventually, it's just me and Jeff talking, and back then, like, this is, like, my, the, now, do you know, Papa Tran was not, a, Papa Tran was never my name I used. It was a nickname that I had in high school, which I'll go over in another video, which will be on this channel, and, uh, upload to the other channel as well, I guess, of my other Papa Tran channel. Because I get a text! Who oh, did who oh, text me? Do I want to go watch Zootopia? Hell yeah, man! I like to go watch Zootopia. I'm gonna do it like a cool kid. Hell yeah! And then give her the monkey response. Hell! Oh, whoops! Damn! <laughs> All right, so. So pretty much, what was I talking about? Yeah, Papa Chan was a nickname, so... You know, me and Jeff, like, you know, we were talking, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I like you, Saber. I'm like, yeah, I like you too, Jeff. Not in that way, but, you know, you get the point. So, anyway, like, what ended up happening was... It got to a point where I had, um... How should I say it? Eventually, you know, uh, like, Jeff ended the stream and then I went off, you know, blah, blah. The next, the next stream... Like, you know, that's when I brought myself up as Papa Tran, because I just mentioned, like, oh, yeah, did you know that my nickname was Papa Tran in high school? And then Jeff's like, Papa Tran. So that that's what caused Jeff to, like, call me Papa Tran for, like, all eternity. Or at least till the end of dawn. Or until the end of time. You know, until the end of whatever you want it to be. Okay, we'll call you back when it's... Start to, ooh, okay. So I, I have plenty, a uh, plenty full enough time of doing this recording here. Anyway, movie start to like 3:45 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So there you go. Um, but no, yeah. So that that was pretty much our actual confrontation, and from there on out, I just started tuning into all the Twitch streams. It even got to a point where every every stream was just me and Jeff. That's it. It was just only me watching, and like that was the weird things. And eventually. How should I say? Eventually, you know, Jeff just, just stopped streaming. One day, one day, you know, okay, let me just respond to the text. Um, just saying, all right. So at some point, like, at some point, like, I ended up just, like, how should I say? I, like, I just stopped watching as well because he stopped watching on uh, Twitch. Eventually, YouTube did their whole, like, oh, we have a live streaming service thing, you know, and I was like, okay, that's cool. And eventually, again, I saw that Jeff and Green Skull were doing it. I saw, like, you know, Green Skull do the whole, like, Halo 5 this with Jeff and War Dog. And I'm like, oh, shit, bro. Like, they moved to YouTube. So I tuned in, and Jeff, like, Jeff was like, he noticed me right off the bat. Like, he just spotted me. And he's like, he's like, nice to see you transition from, uh, nice to see you transition from Twitch, Papa Tran. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. And it just turned to, like, I wasn't like a mod then either, like, or at that point I still wasn't a mod. Like, it was just more of like Jeff shouted me out because I was that, like, you know, I was a, I was a special viewer. Like, a lot of people, like, now, I feel bad for saying this, but like, now a lot of people are long-time viewers of Radio Up Live on Twitch well and stuff like that. Like, they, like, some people have watched, like, like, watched them longer than I have. Like, for example, Epic. Epic Flang? I'm sorry if I, <laughs> I just usually call him Epic, but he... Like, he's probably watched them longer than I have, obviously. But yet, I just come out of nowhere and I get this, like, like special treatment. Well, I wouldn't really call it special treatment, but you get the point. 
like, I get this treatment, and, like, you know, I feel bad about it. But anyway, like, you know, I, I become this big thing with Jeff where he always shouts me out, blah, blah, blah. And the real, the, the moment where I became the mod for Jeff, not for the mainstreamers, just for Jeff, was when, um, was when Jeff just randomly came out of nowhere and was like, I always wanted to do this. And I sort of had a question mark over my head. I'm like, what do you mean by that? And out of the blue, he just, boom, granted me mod status. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, pff, mind blown, right? And so, like, he just granted me mod status, like, right there on the spot. And and so pretty much, like, you know, me and Jeff, like, like well, actually, ever, like, from the Twitch stream on out, me and Jeff have been sort of talking to each other on Twitter. Not, like, sacrilegiously, like, oh, like you know, oh, let's go get a beer together, buddy. Oh, so fun. Like, none of that. Like, not that, like, you know, buddy, buddy. More of, like, a like a friend thing. It's like, like, you know, that friend you will talk to every day, but or not every day, but, like, that friend you talk to once in a while and stuff like that. Like, I would say, like, like, fought, like a couple times a week, sort of like that. Like, that's how it is with me and Jeff. Um, so eventually... Now, this is probably going to turn into how did I become a mod as well, which I'll probably have included in the title of the video. Uh, how did I become a mod for the other two guys, so War Doge and Green Skull? For War Dog, it was just fairly simple. I just I just said, like, to War Dog, like, I didn't... Because I thought Jeff, like, wasn't streaming, but it was just more like he was Photoshopping his thumbnail, and his uh, thing wasn't set up, right? So I just said, like, oh, yeah, since I don't see Jeff here, I might as well, like, hop chats from, like... Because I told Wardog directly, I would hop chats, like, you know, I would hop from his chat to Green Skull's chat, etc. And Wardog's like, oh, yeah, wait one moment, here you go. I made you mod. I'm like, wait, you made me mod? And I'm like, oh, shit, you did. So that, that was it with Wardog. For Green Skull, I just asked. <laughs> like, there's nothing special but, like, oh, I'm sorry, Dan, if that sounded horrible. <laughs> but, like, there wasn't anything crazy about Dan making me a mod. <sighs> As I drink water. What I, what I actually did was I was just like, because it was during the Division stream, I believe it was, like the 12-hour the, the Division stream. And I was just like, I was like, hey, Dan, can I just be mod? Like, there's a guy in chat, like, spamming advertisements that obviously is a scam, right? So I told him that. Like, I asked Jeff to tell him that. And Dan's like, oh, yeah, here you go, man. Let me just, like, just type in hi in chat or whatever, and then I'll, like, you know, mod you up. So I did that, and then Dan modded me up. And so... Ever since then, I've been modding all three of their chats all at once. Now, before I before I was like doing the whole modding business, when I was only modding Jeff's chat, I was like, this is cool. I get modded for War Dogs chat. I'm like, this is so cool. But I jokingly, this is where the blood vomit joke of myself, like the blood vomit linguo came from, which was, if I, if I work, if I end up modding all three chats, I'm gonna vomit up blood. Like, that's gonna kill me. Like, I am a dead man. And, like... And so that just became the joke that, like... A joke which became a reality. Not legit reality as I'm, I'm physically vomiting up blood in real life. But, like, you know, it came to reality... Like, it came, it became a reality that I'm modding all three chats at once. And, uh, and that, like... Every time they're like, We're gonna do another stream! Or whatever. I just, like, jokingly just... I, I, rather than saying, Sweet, another stream... I jokingly type in vomit bl like vomiting blood or just vomits blood and like that was like a joke thing for me and like and so that was like that's a key thing that's an inside joke with like me Papa Tran right now it's just like Warframe is my inside joke vomiting blood is my inside joke and whatever so that's that's how I became a mod for the mainstreamers and that's how I met Jeff. I hope this video was good enough. If it wasn't that great, I might have to do an updated version in the future. So, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, next video, which will literally be like two seconds like after I end the recording to record it, will be my Papa Tran like, nickname and where it originated from. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And see you next time in one of the three chats. Or my chat, because I do stream occasionally as well. Alright, peace out.